massive grandeur of Mount Rainier, king of the Great Cascade Range, rising in glittering splendor against the northwest sky. The engineering miracle that is the Grand Coulee Dam, one of the mightiest structures ever built by man. The world's tallest Indian totem, mystic emblem of the red races which once ruled this beautiful land of river and forest. That land which today is the vast and thriving state of Washington, with Olympia situated on famous Puget Sound as its capital. Washington, northwest cornerstone of the nation, within whose boundaries live a progressive and cosmopolitan people. Modern highways have replaced the lonely trails of the pioneer, spanning the far spaces of the Columbia River Plains, that semi-arid region which irrigation is now converting into a flowering garden. The rivers of Washington have been harnessed, their waters utilized for the needs of agriculture and industry. Greatest of these is the broad Columbia, fed by far-reaching tributaries and flowing finally into the blue Pacific. The vast Columbia River system has made water power Washington's most important natural resource. In the north central part of the state stands Grand Coulee Dam, some 500 feet high and 4,300 feet long, generating over two and one half million horsepower, irrigating an area the size of Connecticut. This colossus of American ingenuity is the world's largest hydroelectric power project. Here is the handiwork of modern enterprise, etched in steel and stone against the sky. That same sky looks down upon the farms of Washington, where the generous earth and temperate climate have worked agricultural wonders. Washington leads the nation in cherry production, her orchards annually yielding thousands of tons of this luscious crop. The cherry harvests of her verdant valleys require the services of a veritable army of pickers, while cherry exports contribute to the state's great farm economy. Yet cherries are but a small part of the productive picture that is bountiful Washington. Now it's apples, another treasure of this fertile inland empire. Washington grows one-third of the national crop. The apple basket of America aptly describes the Wenatchee and Yakima valleys, where the storied forbidden fruit abounds in rich profusion. Here is the home of the succulent wine sap, the Jonathan, the Golden Delicious, and other famous Washington apples. Here indeed, King Apple is literally grown to the queen's taste. Turkey farms are another important part of the rural scene. These white beauties add an unusual touch to that scene and a definite source of profit to that farm income. Dairy farming is another profitable adjunct to the Washington agricultural economy. This land of green pastures where man and nature have combined to produce an amazing variety of foodstuffs is noted for the excellence of its dairy products. In the Columbia River Basin, dry field peas are one of the main seasonal crops. Everywhere the rich earth of fertile Washington is good to those who depend upon it for their livelihood, with more than 200 widely varied crops being raised throughout the state. Highly mechanized farming like this is the rule rather than the exception, for Washington's thousands of farmers produce great quantities of their crops for export. In the eastern part of the state, giant grain elevators are familiar landmarks. Here, wheat is king, ranking first among all Washington agricultural produce. Here, year after year, the friendly soil yields its bumper crops of yellow grain, and the steady throbbing of the combines is like a drumming symphony across the bright glowing land. Independent farmers have cultivated that land and sown the seed. Now they reap a golden harvest, most of it for shipment to distant markets. The Northwest Trail rolls on, modern rails of steel slashing through the green majesty of timbered hills, winding along the wide highways toward a city of progress, Seattle. 
On the east shore of Puget Sound, some 130 miles from the sea, stands the largest metropolis of the Pacific Northwest. Seattle attributes its rapid growth to a commercially strategic position and excellent terminal facilities. One of the most important shipping centers in the United States, this international port is the crossroads between Europe and the Orient. Seattle is also known as one of the great fishing ports of the world. From the generous waters of the ocean and Puget Sound come halibut, tuna, salmon, and black cod, among others, while the coastal shore catch yields clams, scallops, oysters, and crabs, the crustacean delicacies so popular on the national seafood plate. Here, the profitable crops of the sea contribute to a major industry in this state of many industries. The Lake Washington Canal, a deep water highway for maritime traffic and trade, connects Puget Sound with Seattle's Lake Washington. These locks are among the world's largest, designed and engineered to accommodate seagoing vessels. An excursion voyage along this famed and picturesque inland waterway makes an exciting and unforgettable adventure. The canal's real value is the accessibility it lends to industrial and agricultural areas of eastern and central Washington. Thousands of miles of shoreline border and bisect this evergreen state of bountiful waters. The University of Washington, one of the country's foremost meccas of the arts and sciences, lifts its familiar towers above the green landscape. Here, young America is reaping the benefits of that highly efficient educational system for which the state is justifiably renowned. Beautiful and fascinating Washington is also world-renowned as a vacation land. Paradise Lodge, in the scenic splendor of Mount Rainier National Park, makes a picture to match those of Switzerland's alpine wonders. High above this enchanting Cascade Valley towers massive, majestic Mount Rainier itself. Here, the state of the Inland Empire becomes the state of the great outdoors. Winter sports in a winter wonderland as they ski the shining slopes of the lofty Cascades. The bright mountains are calling, and their call is a siren song that never loses its lure, the magic music of a high country paradise. But whether it's skiing at Mount Rainier or vacationing beside lowland waters, Washington can offer both. Sailboating in the cradle of a summer breeze, white wings dancing in an offshore parade. Swimming in a blue water bay, holiday fun for everyone. No matter what the sport or recreation, the great evergreen state has them all. Such is beautiful Washington secure in the present, sure of the future. Washington, ever in the forefront in that mighty, ceaseless march of this land of ours. <laughs>